Unicorn baby cakes. Yes, that's what we are creating today. Hi everyone, my name is Christian Bale. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. <sighs> Now before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what cake you'd like me to make next. Now I've shown you how to make a ton of baby cakes. We did George Bush and Michelle Obama. We did Baby Olaf and then we did Baby Yoda. I love seeing all of your recreations of my baby cake so I thought I'd give you two more ideas that you can recreate for loved ones or maybe you could sell them too. Make some money off this video. Lord knows I'm not. <laughs> now to start off, I am using my adjustable cake pan. It's a silicone lined cake pan that I baked on top of some parchment paper. I love this because it makes it so that I don't have to cut that much cake away. If I were using a rectangular pan, there's so much cake that I have to carve away at the sides to create this oval sort of pebble-like shape. Now while I am showing you how to make these cakes, I want you to think about what baby cakes you'd like to see me make next. Do you want Pokemon babies? Do you want Disney babies? Do you want Disney princess babies? I just thought of that. That would be a really cool idea. I can make whatever kind of babies you want. Now all of my baby cakes go through the exact same process. These are super simple. I think that's why you guys like recreating them is because it's the same shape over and over again. The only thing that really changes is the color of the blanket that's wrapping the baby and the face of the character that you're creating. And each of these heads are created with six inch half dome cakes. So I flattened my six inch half dome cake out added some fondant underneath to create a snout and then covered the entire thing with white fondant. My inspiration for this was Pegasus from Hercules. I just think he's like the cutest horse ever animated. Now for my second unicorn cake, I decided to go something a little different. We're making a unicorn cat, a baby kitten cake. And I decided to go with pink. I just thought that that was very appropriate for a baby unicorn kitten. Now this month I do want to highlight organizations that are helping people who are deeply affected by the coronavirus as well as the ASPCA because while you're in lockdown you can foster an animal since you're not doing anything. My friend Alex fostered this cutie. You see him, he's adorable. His name is Teddy and he ended up adopting him. Now that's some really good coronavirus news. So once I got the base of my characters, I added the head to the top of the rest of my baby cake and I started this panel fondant on top of that. So this is what makes this cake very easy. You're not creating any of the features of the animal except for the head because this is just a newborn baby wrapped in a blanket. So all the other features get hidden behind these two panels of fondant. Now to create and finish my Pegasus inspired cake, I'm adding my funny unicorn horn and then giving it like a mohawk. After that, I just added two pieces of fondant to create hoofs that are just peeking out of the blanket. And I added a little bit more detail with some polka dots to create my baby blanket. How precious is that? And the little tiny ears? <laughs> what is this boy's name? All right, now let's move on to the second unicorn. So I added my unicorn head on top. And so the first thing I did was make sure that I created the cat ears. And then I gave it its very cute kitty cat unicorn horn. I'm really digging this color palette. I think there's just enough color. And because they're all pastel, they're not overwhelming. It looks really cute. So I'm really proud of that. Now we got two paws peeking out at the top. And to give my blanket a little bit more color, I'm adding on some tiny white flowers of fondant. A little bit of color to the eyes just to make them glisten. And my second unicorn cake is complete. What? You love it, I love it. I can't tell what's my favorite. The horse looks bomb, but the fact that there's a cat with a horn, that's pretty magnificent. Yeah, a lot of people would be like, this is too cute to eat. And I thought that at first, but then I ate them and I was like, you know what? They're not too cute to eat. I'm a baby maker. I'm a baby eater as well. So have you guys been thinking what other babies would you like to see me create? Which ones would you like to be able to make for your clients or for your loved ones? Let me know in the comments, okay? Because I'm excited to hear all of your ideas. But the possibilities are endless when you're just wrapping a head in a blanket. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon.
Peace.